Hello students, today we will see the fourth term work, develop an application to illustrate the use of images and colors. So we are going to create an Android application. We are going to display an image on the activity. We shall have a button and with the help of the button, we will try to change the background color dynamically for that application. So let us get started. Let us go to Android Studio, start a new Android project, select empty activity, click next. Let us give an appropriate name for the project. Since this is the fourth term work, I will say lab four. Let us click finish. Now let us start with the designing. Let us go to the code and let us change the layout to relative layout. So relative layout is going to help us to place our child widgets. Relative layout is a parent widget and whatever we are placing any widgets that we place inside this is going to be the child widget. So we can place these widgets in relation to each other. That is, one widget can be placed to, towards the left of the other widgets or the below of another widget. So that is in relation. That is why we are making use of the relative layout here. Let us take out this code. Now, first thing is we will provide an ID to our relative layout. We will write ID. We will say R. So this is the ID. Next, now we will we need an image on the screen and we also require a button. So first, let us copy paste the image. So I have downloaded an image. I'm going to copy the same image here, Android. Copy this. And I have to go to my resource folder. In that, I have to go to draw the right click here and say paste. Click OK. So, if you want, you can change the name here. I don't want to change the name, so I will just go ahead with OK. So, I've placed the image. Now, let me drag and drop an image view here. So, it is showing me the list of images that are available. I will click on this Android and say OK. Next, I want to add a property here. The property name is Android Layout Center in Parent to be true. I have to set the value to true. So this property, if it is true, is going to help us organize this child widget center. That is, it is going to help us to align it horizontally and vertically in the center of the screen with its parent. So the parent here is the relative layout. So with the help of this property, we will be able to align our widget image view in the center of the screen. Next, we require a button. So we will place it. Now, we want the text on the button to be changed to Click for background, or we'll just say click me. So now you can either write the texture or you can go to values and you can go to the strings.xml and give a text there and then change as we have done it in the previous programs. Next. We want this particular text button, the button click me, to be below my image view. So I will add the property Android layout below. So this button has to be below my image view. So I'll say add ID image view. Next thing is this button should also be aligned in the center. So we will add the property Android layout center in parent to be true. 
and if you want we can give a little padding here we will say android margin bottom we will just say 20 dp so we have created the button and we have also created the image we have placed the image so we are not changing here the button id and the image id because we are not accessing it anywhere now let us go to main activity dot java so here we will first declare our widgets so we have made use of so this time we are going to make use of the relative layout and we have also provided an id to the relative layout so we will first declare a variable for a relative layout we will give it as screen view next we have made use of a button we will require the button so we will say button and we can give the variable name as click let us import this with alt enter now we will declare an array here to store colors so this view relative layout view is rectangle here so this is the rectangle that it is covering the relative layout entire screen is being covered with that relative layout so here it may or may not show the borders this since it is covering the entire screen so here it is going to be responsible for for us to change the background color of the entire screen so for that we have made use of this uh, relative layout and we have also provided an id here now let us come back to array declaration so we will we can declare an array we want uh, let us give the name of the array we can declare it like this int give square brackets let the array name be color we will also initialize this so you can make use of the color class we have a class called as color so don't be confused with this color and this color this is a color class with c capital and this is an array where everything is in small case so we will write color dot now we want the background color to change so this color array is going to store the integer values of these colors which range from 0 to 255 that is why we have taken as an int array so now we can specify the color names here you can see it is visible here so we can select for the colors that we want so we will go for blue let us have some more colors here because we want to change it dynamically so we will say color dot red we will add again color dot say gray We'll add magenta. We'll add another color. So we have added six colors in the array color. Now next thing. We will first try to create the connection for these two elements so i'll take screen view equal to find view by id so r dot id dot the id that we have given is r view next the, for the button the variable is click is equal to i 
find the by id r dot id dot the id for the button we haven't changed so it is button now on the click of this particular button we need to change the background color so we will right click dot set on click listener so inside this we again have to pass the listener that is new view dot on click listener so you can press control space it will show you the uh, methods it will prompt you the methods there if you press control space now inside this method on click we are going to write our main functionality so we will have to first find the length of our array so i'll take a variable called as int array length and in this variable i will try to store the length of my array so we will say color dot length so color is this array dot length is a function built in function which will help us to fetch the length of this array and the index is going to begin from 0 so the length is going to be stored in the variable array length next we have a function called as random so this function will create random the generated numbers so we create an instance for this particular random function and we will make it make use here to pass it in the array so i will declare another variable called as rnum now with the help of this instance of this random function i am going to make use of the next int function and inside this i will pass my array length and then we have the function set background color and for that we will pass our array color and we will pass the variable arna so now to sum this up the last four lines we have taken a variable array length and in this variable array length we are trying to store the length of this colors array then we have a function random which will help us to generate integer rand integers randomly then i have taken another variable called as r num so in this variable i am trying to store the randomly generated numbers the next int will help you to generate randomly integer oriented numbers integer generated numbers but inside this i am passing my array length which is here which is the length of this array is 5 it has five elements 0 to 5 so randomly this any one any one number is going to be selected so if it is if one is selected it means red is going to be displayed as the background and one that particular randomly generated index will be stored in this variable rnum so this rnum we are using it here again as set background screen view is the view the entire rectangle so on that rectangle i want to set the background color and i'm passing rnum which will have the randomly generated index from this particular array so let us try to execute this click on run so the activity is launched let us click on the button so you can see the first background color is yellow but whereas in the array yellow has been specified at the end so once you click likewise the background color will change so let me sum the last part once again here so we have declared an array here called as color and we are trying to find the length of that array and store in this variable then we have a class called as random the random class will help us to generate 
integers or numbers randomly to generate integer values we have the function next int of this random class so inside this next int function we are trying to pass our array length which is ranging from 0 to 5 and this next int will randomly visit any of those integers from 0 to 5 and store it in the variable rnum then we are just going to fetch that integer value from whatever is being generated by this particular random dot next int in our array length so we are trying to restrict the randomly generated integers from 0 to 5 because that is what is our array size here so whatever value will be selected suppose it is 5 so color dot rnum will have the value 5 which means this last part that is color dot yellow will be displayed as the background screen so for that we have screen dot set background color so this is the fourth lab term work so i hope you have understood this thank you